There was Lewis Wilson and Robert Lowry in the 40s, then Adam West on the Cape in the 60s. Michael Keaton was Tim Burton's Batman, then Val Kilmer and George Clooney later in the 90s. Kevin Conroy was the voice of the animated Batman. I am vengeance. Christopher Nolan chose Christian Bale to be his Dark Knight. Ben Affleck had his turn. I believe you. Now Robert Pattinson, who played Edward Cullen in Twilight, is the latest to step into the bat suit. This guy's tragic. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. Kim Crossman caught up with the cast of the Batman to find out what it was like wearing those tight costumes. I did the the camera test in um, George Clooney's suit, which was like extraordinarily restrictive, and I was expecting that. And then the suit which I had in the movie is like really lovely, like incredibly designed. We were rehearsing a, a fight sequence together for like a month or something, and I finally felt like I had it down. I was like, oh yeah, I can do this. And then we rehearsed it with the suits on, and I remember crying. <laughs> and also, Zoe doesn't sweat in her suit, whereas I like like to give her like, a shower of sweat. sweat. I have a Every lot of Bob Pattinson sweat. Yeah. Uh, and give her a little bath yeah. in it. Just in it. <laughs> just straight out of the nose hole. I would just watch it. I would like stare at it, and I'm like, call cut before it drops, call cut before it drops. <laughs> when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call, it's a warning. This is a big thing to take on. What was your, like, overarching goal? It's a character that's endured for over 80 years. Everyone has a version of Batman in their head, so you're already in trouble right there. What I really wanted to do was to find a way to do a new iteration that felt distinctive, that felt really different and fresh. And part of that for me was to make him the world's greatest detective again and to not do an origin tale because we'd seen so many great origin tales, but instead to have him in the early days and to watch him as an imperfect Batman. It was a fresh version of Selina Kyle. She's not yet Catwoman. She doesn't become Catwoman fully in this movie. And the same thing with the Riddler. This is the first time he even announces himself as the Riddler. It's black. Riddle for you both. Oh no. I'm at the beginning of everything, the end of everywhere, at the beginning of eternity and the end of time and space. What am I? What? <laughs> Batman. The, I'm like, the universe? I don't know. <laughs> this is deep. I'm like, what yeah, is I'm it? I'm like, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's the letter E. <laughs> Oh, you know, that's impossible. You know, he's really good at it. <laughs> Paul is actually genuinely like a genius. Well, he plays the <laughs> It's really strange. I was asking him, is that, is that how he got cast? He really knows that. I don't even the understand what- The E, the problem with riddles is like, it could be lit. I'm like, I don't even know what category to be thinking in. Someone like, could be speaking to me normally and it sounds like riddles. His life, life's a riddle. <laughs> I'm like, oh I don't God. get it. I'm vengeance.